All right, here we're going to do some examples of finding uh, Maclaurin polynomials. So all a Maclaurin polynomial is, it's just a special case of a Taylor polynomial. And a Maclaurin polynomial is, by assumption, centered at a equals 0. So I just kind of rewrote our new formula here, emphasizing the fact that a is equal to 0. All right, so in this example, we're going to find the third degree uh, Maclaurin polynomial for f of x equals e to the 4x. So again, I'm just going to write it out generically because that's what I like to do. So we'll have f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial x to the first, f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared, and then f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed. So let's see, our function, just e to the 4x, well, these derivatives aren't too bad. We have to use the chain rule. So e to the 4x, when we take the derivative, we'll get e to the 4x. But then we have to take the derivative of the exponent, so we'll get uh, an extra 4. So we have 4e to the 4x. Well, when we take the second derivative, uh, we'll get an e to the 4x times another 4. So that'll give us 16 times e to the 4x. And then our third derivative evaluated at 0, we're going to have to multiply by yet another 4. So that's going to give us 64 times e to the 4x. But when we plug in 0, f of 0 will get e to the 0, which is 1. f prime of 0 will get, well, 4 times e to the 0, or just 4. f double prime of 0 will be left with 16 times 1, or 16. And our f triple prime of 0 will just be left with the 64. So now if I fill in, you know, our very beginning formula, we will have our degree 3 Maclaurin polynomial. So f of 0 we said is equal to 1. Um, f prime of 0 is 4. So 4 over 1 factorial is just 4 times x to the first. Um, f double prime of 0, that's 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So 8x squared, let's see, um, f triple prime of 0, that's 64 over 3 factorial, so 3 times 2 times 1. Well, let's see, 2 goes into 64, I guess, uh, 32 times. So we'll be left with, uh, so f triple prime, so um, 64 divided by 6, we'll reduce that to 32 over 3. And then we have our x to the third power. And this will now be our degree 3 Maclaurin polynomial.